Okay guys, this is a quick video uh, for a customer of mine and hopefully it can help all the people. Um, it's kind of the basic information about what is the difference on the 6.0 motors on the high pressure system. I'm gonna turn the phone slowly and I will show you what are the main difference. So right here on the table, I got the different setups that came up along the years. So the first setup was the early O3. This is a bracket for the glow plug module. It is going to be a sideway. It's not going to be like the new models. It's going to be like this. The old ones. The first first model module uh, mo model gear is coming this way. Is the O3 early O3? You're going to have this metal cover, which is going to have the sensor in the back and the connector for the IPR right here. So this is going to be the branch pipe that goes on the back of the engine on the early model actually threads in this is gonna thread in, in here and then you got this quick connection right over here it's just a push in connector this is the head where you have the rail high pressure rail on top of the injectors you see it's a round rail and that pipe I just show you gets connected right here you just push it in basically when this is set up you just push this in boom it got some clips inside and that's it you're done it's all clip on that's the way it is it's a round high pressure system uh rail for the injectors so when the four start having issues they actually change and this is the pump this is the same pump they use on the O3s and O4s. So on the O4, <clears throat> they use the same pump. They start using the metal housing. They keep the same housing. You see the sensor is on this one. The O4s, they don't have a sensor. They actually block, but it is the same pump. It's the aluminum round pump. So on this model, what they have is this same setup, but they change to a standpipe. This is the other system that fails a lot. This is just when you thread it in, you thread it on the rail. So they actually change the high pressure rail. The O4, you're gonna see that you're gonna have the sensor on the front of the head. When you're looking at the engine, you're gonna have this would be the head, this would be the rail on the passenger side, and it's gonna be like that. You're gonna have the sensor here, you're gonna have the dummy plug here, and you're gonna have the long standpipe in the back. That's what's going to be the O4 setup. So it's going to be this big rail. You're going to see a bigger rail. The sensor is going to be on the front of the head. That's why they have to change the bracket. This is the bracket that hold the uh, module for the glow plug. On this model, they actually change it, and the glow plug sits sideways. Somewhere over here is a different bracket. It's not the same. Can't find one at the moment. But they're still using the aluminum pump, round aluminum pump. They got the metal housing with the plug in the back. And they're using this setup, which is the setup you got over here. It's the way it goes bolted, but they use a standpipe. As you see, there's no threads on this one. This is not threaded. The first model is actually threaded because these pipes actually thread in on the bottom and it has a quick connection on the top. Now, when you go to the 05 and up, you have this. It's the metal pump. Metal pump first came up with a quick connection here and then they came up with this kind of setup where you actually thread it into the pump and lock it on place. This setup is a whole complete different setup. Uh, they use the same rail that they start using on 04, this long rail with a sensor on the front on the passenger side and the uh, driver side doesn't have any sensor. You see it's actually blocked. You're gonna have the standpipe on the back as well pipe goes all the way in and then it threads in and you're gonna have the dummy plug here it's called dummy plug if you have the 10 millimeter one you have the old style you have to change it those ones blew up all the time you probably know that this is the cover for the pump it's a whole different cover you see it's aluminum cover it sits right on top when you look at the pump the pump is going to be sitting like this that's the way the pump is going to be sitting you you're going to see it and this goes like this. This is the uh, drain for the turbo. The turbo drains goes here, and this is where the IPR valve sits. 
and there your ICP is going to be all the way in the front on the passenger side. So this is the 05 and up. You might find a late 04 with this setup, metal pump, aluminum cover, IPR on the back, ICP on the front, and dummy plugs standpipe system. This is what a dummy plug is, what they call dummy plug. This is what a standpipe is, called so-called standpipe. That's what the system is. You might find it on an old, late 04 and up, all the way to the 07s. On the 04s, that's when everything gets tricky. Some 04s got this set up, where you're gonna have the standpipe system with this big rail sensor on the front, but you're still gonna be using aluminum round pump. You see, it's gonna be a standpipe setup. It actually goes in once you thread it on this rail. It's gonna be this kind of rail. And the first setup, first, first, very first setup is gonna be this one. Metal housing, you see, 04, they get the metal housing. The old trees, they do have the metal housing sensor. It's gonna be in the back and it's threaded. Everything is like quick connection type. This is the hose that goes. This is the rail. Injectors are the same. Nothing changed on the injectors. You can use the 03 injectors all the way to the 07, same injectors. The harness change for the glow plug is a different harness. Um, so this aluminum cover is, is also different. The 05s are different, so you cannot change this harness. If you use the um, different cover, you gotta use a different harness. It's not a big deal, you just gotta use the right one for you. So basically that's what it is guys. I was just showing you guys what would be the difference in between the three possible choices you're gonna find. That's what I have seen on my years uh, working with the 6.0. Uh, one main thing I wanna tell you, the harness from an O3 will not be 100% the same as an O4 late and up. So if you're changing the engine and it comes with a harness and you have an O3, use your harness or get an O3 harness. It is different. It won't, it won't work. It just won't work fine. You lose the AC. I don't remember what else, but I know a couple more things won't work right away. The computers, the PCM, is not the same. The Freecom, you can actually change the Freecom. There's no problem with that. But the uh, computer, the PCM, is not the same. If you use an air leak PCM on an old model, it won't work right. The same thing the other way. So you keep that in mind. Well, guys, I hope this helped for you. Help, uh, and hopefully you can uh, get a better idea of what's going on. Thanks for your time and have a great day.